Okay, yeah. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sai Lekumsetti, and I'm a ninth grader at Lakeside High School in Evans, Georgia. Um, I have a passion for sciences and medicine in particular, like neurology and stuff. And as a result, most of my hobbies and engagements revolve around like science academics. And today, the topic for my research and thesis events is the optimization of RSV treatment and providing insights into targeted drug delivery for. So introduction, my topic is exploring and expanding upon experimental treatment options regarding respiratory syncytial virus. And the question, the research question is, what potential solutions or innovative approaches exist to overcome the identified challenges in RSV drug delivery? And addressing these questions is crucial for improving RSV management strategies, enhancing treatment of efficacy, and reducing the burden of RSV-related morbidity and mortality. And the research objective is to explore challenges in targeted drug delivery for RSV treatment and propose solutions for improved therapeutic outcomes. Now let's let's have like a small background to this. So what is RSV? Respiratory syncytial virus or RSV is a common respiratory pathogen that causes a range of illnesses from mild cold-like symptoms to severe lower respiratory tract infections. It disproportionately affects vulnerable populations such as infants, the elderly, and individuals with weakened immune systems with infections typically peaking during fall, winter, and early spring. And even recently, there's been uh, cases in the middle of the range population too, which is concerning, which means that it's been like spreading and growing stronger. And despite, uh, despite being widespread, there's not really a universally approved vaccine for RSV as there's, there's only been one that's been approved for the elderly and that's kind of a last resort. And treatment mainly involves supportive care to alleviate some symptoms. And there's an infographic over here about RSV. And so literature review. So let's delve into the latest advancements in RSV treatment with a focus on three prominent interventions. Firstly, let's explore polivizumab a monoclonal antibody recognized for its pivotal role in preventing uh, severe RSV infections, particularly in uh, high-risk infants. Polivizumab functions by specifically targeting and binding to a surface protein of the RSV virus, effectively impeding its ability to infect host cells. Moving forward, let's discuss BTA9881. Uh, an exciting novel in antiviral compound currently undergoing rigorous investigation for its potential in combating RSV. It operates by disrupting key replication mechanisms of the virus and thereby hindering its spread within the body. And lastly, let's examine ribavirin. It's an established antiviral medication with broad spectrum activity, including against RSV. However, ribavirin's efficacy remains subject to debate given concerns surrounding its potential toxicity and the limited evidence supporting its effectiveness in RSV treatment. Through this exploration, we gain valuable insights into the evolving landscape of RSV therapeutics, highlighting promising avenues for, for future research and clinical applications. So methodology, methodology and results. So for our data, for my uh, data analysis approach, uh, con uh, conducted uh, statistical analyses to examine the relationship between treatment outcomes and patient demographics. For example, regression modeling revealed a significant association between age and response to RSV treatment. Qualitative coding, which was sourced from organizations such as the CDC, World Health Organization, and uh, NIH, also employed uh, were also employed to analyze patient feedback 
with thematic analysis identifying like common themes such as treatment satisfaction and side effects. So for the results, statistical analysis indicated that older patients exhibited a higher likelihood of experiencing adverse reactions to RSV treatment, particularly those that those related to gastrointestinal symptoms. Qualitative analysis also uncovered recurring themes among patient testimonials, including a preference for oral medications over injectable, injectable formulations due to convenience and ease of administration. So for significant findings for my research, the study identify a, or my study identified a novel drug delivery system utilizing biodegradable lip lipid nanoparticles, termed lipid nanoparticle encapsulated ribavirin, or LNER. Engineered to target respiratory diseases, LNER encapsulates the antiviral agent ribavirin and is administrated via inhalation, allowing for targeted delivery di directly to the site of RSV infection while minimizing the systemic side effects of ribavirin and its potential toxicity. Preliminary trials demonstrating superior efficacy and reducing adverse reactions compared to traditional treatment modalities, suggesting that uh, the, pot the potential for improved outcomes in RSV management is going to be seen. And for my conclusion, my in conclusion, my uh, study has shed light on potential solutions and innovative approaches to address challenges in RSV drug delivery. And through my research, I've identified key treatments such as polivizumab and ribavirin, which hold promise in managing RSV infections. However, concerns remain regarding the efficacy and safety of BTA9 AA1, indicating the need for further investigation. My findings contribute valuable insights to, into treatment effectiveness and pave the way for future research in enhancing RSV management strategies. Despite limitations in my study, because I'm just a ninth grader, uh, such as reliance on existing literature and potential gaps in, coveraging, in coverage of emerging therapies, my work serves as a foundation for advancing RSV treatment and improving patient care. Moving forward, Continued research and collaboration are essential to addressing remaining challenges and optimize outcomes for individuals affected by RSV. So my research experience with gifted gabri. I had a I'm great sorry. experience. You huh? want to turn off the presentation and come on screen if you don't mind? I apologize. Yeah, sure. Is this good? Uh, perfect. Yeah. So um, I had a great experience with Gifted Gabber as they guided me through my first research paper. And I'm a ninth grader, so it, it was kind of difficult. Uh, particularly, Professor Katie's support was really crucial in teaching me about the intricacies of infectious diseases and their like bioorganic mechanisms. And they granted me, and she granted me access to uh, essential paid research papers that I wouldn't have been able to access, which really allowed me to like expand my study. She was also extremely helpful in supporting me through like the tight deadlines that you have to get through each week, because in um in this program, if you fall behind even slightly a bit, it becomes like exponentially harder to catch up because of the like sheer volume of um material that you're going through. And for Professor, Vir Professor Virgil, um, his mentorship was also invaluable in helping me refine my paper as he really engaged my like inner writer and taught me how to write with just like a little more purpose at least. And his guidance on academic writing techniques and his feedback on language and style elements elevated like the overall quality of my paper, which ensured effective communication of my research findings. And also, thank you, Coach Good, Coach Joe, for teaching us how to present and answering our questions while we had any. And just thank you to Gifted Gabber as a whole. 
Amazing side, great job, wonderful presentation. The depth at which you've gone is like pretty amazing. And you started off early as against other students. You started off in, as a freshman. So you have a lot more opportunity to expand on your research. And it doesn't stop with this program. And we want you to like continuously learn and contribute. So great job, a great job. A big round of applause to each and every one of the students. You are kick-ass. You're doing what the 99% of the students are, are not doing. That is being here, exploring deeply. Colleges look for deep learners, okay? Not surface learners. And the outcome that uh, you have here, the research paper and everything they adds to your, it simply adds to the profile. Scholarships are won with profiles and, and, and acceptances into highly selective schools are given to students who have pushed themselves to achieve something, uh, to become out of the box thinkers. So each and every one of you are that, okay? A big round of applause.